In September of 1996, Boeing needed a new big aircraft to compete with Airbus's new A3XX project, revealed to be the A380 half a decade later. Their new design? A super jumbo called the Boeing 747-700X. What happened to this legendary aircraft? Let's explore. In the mid-90s, Boeing was relatively secure against Airbus. It had the best-selling aircraft in the market, the Boeing 737, while the Boeing 777 had launched against the A330 and A340. Furthermore, the 747 long-range market was untouched. That was until rumors surfaced of a new project at Airbus. The A3XX project was to be a new super jumbo designed for international flights, carrying more passengers than the popular Boeing 747-400. Thus, Boeing would draft a number of new Boeing 747 designs in 1996. At the Farnborough International Air Show, Boeing showed off two concept 747 designs. These new designs would have the same 747 fuselage width as the 747-400, but would use the 777's wings. This meant it could be longer and have bigger and more powerful engines. It would also accommodate more cargo, but would also need more tires to land. The two designs were as follows. First, there was the Boeing 747-500X, an aircraft that was to be 250 feet or 76.2 meters long and would carry 462 passengers, a range of up to 8,700 nautical miles or 16,100 kilometers. There was also the Boeing 747-600X, which would be 279 feet or 85 meters long with seating for 548 passengers, and it would have a range of up to 7,700 nautical miles or 14,300 kilometers. At the time, Flight Global captured an interesting quote from then Boeing Commercial Airplane Group President Ron Woodard. The design of our 747-600X will allow for a larger derivative, which we refer to as the 747-700X. We would rebody the 600X with a wider fuselage while retaining the existing wing, systems, engines, struts, and landing gear. According to Boeing in 1996, the 747-700X would carry up to 650 passengers and have a design range equal to that of the 747-400. Boeing was looking at several Asian airlines to purchase the plane, but admitted that the smaller 747X variants were more palatable than the Dash 700X. We do not see a market requirement that would permit a financially viable program for an aircraft this size. This is why our development efforts are clearly focused on the Dash 500X and the Dash 600X, Woodard said in the same interview. However, there were several issues with the aircraft. This included the high cost of development as well as the challenge of finding enough buyers to justify such a cost. We concluded that there simply wasn't a large enough market to justify that size of the investment. We don't think much has changed since then," Woodard said in a Boeing press release. A Boeing executive would go on to remark that it just didn't have enough interest in the Dash 500 and Dash 600 concepts. There were over 20 customers talking to Boeing about more and more things they wanted done on the aircraft, and the costs were increasing because of this. We forecast 500 units last year, and this year we're having a hard time holding on to even those units. So the cost was going up and the market was going down but the problem was getting the market to commit. Joe Ozemek, Director of Product Marketing at Boeing. The 747X series would eventually be dropped, and with no other choice, airlines would go with the A380. Do you think this could have been a successful aircraft? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.